like it or not, global warming will be the defining issue of the 21st century. Global warming is probably the most significant environmental issue we've ever faced. The National Wildlife Federation is very concerned about the impacts on fish and wildlife of global warming and on their habitats because millions and millions of acres of wildlife habitat could be lost forever. The loss of habitat due to global warming is a very serious concern. Any of the coastal areas of the United States could be flooded by sea level rise. Here, shown in red, are examples of the loss of dry land that would occur in Florida due to a moderate sea level rise. Nationwide, even a small sea level rise would impact thousands of coastal homes and communities and millions of acres of important fish and wildlife habitat. Sea ice is critical habitat for polar bears. The loss of sea ice is already causing polar bears to drown and in some cases for the populations of polar bears to decline. Polar bears rely on sea ice for the hunting of seals. Without sea ice, they just can't hunt. Coral reefs provide some of the most important habitat for fisheries in our oceans around the world. They're the virtual nurseries of many commercial and sport fisheries resources. Unfortunately, with global warming, a lot of the ocean is warming up, and this causes coral bleaching, or the loss of the algae upon which the coral are dependent. If these coral bleaching events last long enough, it kills the coral, and the entire reef ecosystem dies out. Fishing is an important part of our culture. By addressing climate change, we can help conserve fish in two different ways. If we stop using as much energy from coal-fired power plants and instead turn to alternative energy sources, we reduce the mercury contamination which goes into our environment and accumulates in fish, making them unsafe to eat. By reducing our global warming pollution from coal-fired power plants and turning to these alternative energy sources, we prevent our environment from heating up and from becoming too warm for many of the cold water fisheries, such as trout and salmon. Wetlands are extremely important for waterfowl. Without these wetlands, waterfowl have no place to breed. The most important breeding area in North America is the so-called prairie potholes. The prairie potholes are the nation's duck factory. And without prairie potholes, which are expected to dry up a lot because of global warming, our duck populations will decline dramatically. We're also concerned about the drying up of a lot of our forests in the United States. In the western United States, we're already experiencing significant drought, and the number of forest fires in the western United States has increased dramatically in recent decades, associated with increased temperatures. One of the concerns with global warming is how it would affect our migratory species, such as the Baltimore Oriole. Everybody knows that the Baltimore Oriole lives in Maryland, but with climate change, the suitable habitat for the Baltimore Oriole is likely to no longer exist in the state. Instead, the bird will now breed further to the north. And this is just one example of the many songbirds that could be affected. Caribou are especially vulnerable to global warming. With the increased temperatures in many parts of the north, more and more icing events are occurring, and it's freezing the landscape and making it harder for the caribou to paw through the snow, which they normally do, to reach the lichens that they feed on. With earlier spring melts due to global warming, caribou are also threatened by flooded rivers, making it more difficult for them to migrate with their young. Global warming is helping invasive species from other parts of the world invade our native habitats in North America. The Chinese tallow, which has invaded the southeastern part of the United States, is now spreading further north. Normally, the Chinese tallow is destroyed by freezing temperatures. As warmer temperatures creep north, invasive species that require warm weather, such as the Chinese tallow, will creep north also. Like this National Wildlife Federation effort in New Orleans, a warming climate makes control of invasive species a much bigger challenge. Pine bark beetle is already destroying millions of acres of trees throughout the northern forests. This beetle is normally killed off by hard winters, cold, freezing, very low temperatures. But what's happening now is without these freezing temperatures in the winter, the species is able to survive in much greater numbers. It's reached epidemic proportions and killed millions of acres of trees. Global warming is one of the most important issues we've ever faced. If we're interested in protecting wildlife for our children's future, we must address global warming. Working together, we can and we must stop global warming. 
The greatest gift we can give our children and their children is a healthy planet. 